And then my brother went up to his sons, you know, and is completely out of control, yelling and screaming, boys, even if you win the Nobel Prize, nothing will be as great as being a successor of the apostles. You know, <laughs> nothing, nothing. And he says, uh, then he, you know, kind of tongue in cheek, got down on one knee, clenched his fist, made the, and he said, yes, yes, now we have come into absolute power to crush all our enemies. <laughs> and his boys were like, Dad, that's not what this is about. And then, then he said, boys, watch this video, watch this video. And he comes up with his phone, and he's playing the theme song from the Jeffersons. We <laughs> moving on up, moving on up, you know, and so it's completely ridiculous. Well, the, just then the papal nuncio called and he says, uh, he says, well, what is your reaction? And I was, I was describing this and I said to him, um, I said, yeah, the, this brother, will, we, we won't have him in front of the camera. <laughs> St. Francis de Sales says, be who you are and be that well and honor the master craftsman whose handiwork you are. I love being a priest. I love smiling. I love being with people. But I'm convinced that our, uh, our problems in life never go away. But the way we confront those problems is different because of our faith in Jesus Christ. And so to foster people's relationship with Jesus, I think is going to be an important thing to do. Uh, being a Christian is not a result of an ethical choice or a lofty idea. It's a result of an encounter with an event or a person who opens up new horizons and gives our life a decisive direction. Part of being a bishop or a priest, a Christian, is to facilitate the encounter with the person of Jesus Christ that opens up new horizons for life, gives our life this decisive direction. Christ is made present in the human reality through his church. Uh, and God's grace comes to us in the human reality. And so to engage reality and to help people to experience God's grace in this reality, I think is what I hope to be spending the next 25 years of my life in priesthood and Episcopal ministry in Columbus doing. I want to be a bishop who's out and about and amongst the people connected with the young who are not just the future of the church, they're the church now. If I can be interested in them, maybe they'll be interested in the church. I, I can't be like a young person. I'm not going to be a young person ever again. I can't, and, and sometimes young people need an adult in the room. They need a father figure. Um, but to know that their father loves them is important. One of the things I've learned is how hard it is to be a pastor. And it's a lot of work. And so hopefully as a bishop, I want to stay close to the priests and make sure that their morale is okay. Because if their health and their morale is not okay, they won't give the joyful witness that the people of God need that would attract people to the faith. Father Kennedy always used to tell me, be patient, be generous, and be kind, and the people will love you. But please pray. St. Alphonsus Liguori, he says, he who prays will be saved, he who prays not will certainly be condemned. And if God is lost, all is lost. So pray that God would give me the strength for what lies ahead.